In this demonstration, we're going to show how to adjust proper preload on your wastegate actuator. So we're going to start by removing the circlet. You, typically, a flat screwdriver will work best for here. Then just pull off the actuator arm from the wastegate lever, and you'll see that this has some, you know, movement to it, obviously. And um, and then we're basically going to break this loose. I mean, I've already broken it loose, but typically you just break this loose. And what you're looking for is the most important part right here is there's a lot of adjustment on this and now you can see it doesn't fit right but if you thread it in too far it also doesn't fit so what you're trying to do with the arm pushed up against uh, the wall back over there um, you're going to want to adjust this until it just fits on so here you can see it fits on but if I turn it in half a turn also it still fits you want to find the point where it doesn't fit anymore so now this doesn't fit so we go back to here as a starting point so from here we can do three full turns I'll do them in half so it's easier. One, two, three, four, five, six. There were, that was six half turns, which equals three full revolutions. Now you can see that it doesn't match up. And this is the amount of preload you want. And by preload, I mean this doesn't reach. So you're gonna have to pull this out, just like that. And typically we would just pull it out, push it on over like that. And this gives you that three turns of preload. Now just go ahead and tighten this portion up and typically you can grab the arm with something, it could be a ply or anything that gets a good bite on there and just give the nut a little good cinch on there like that, just like that. And then all you got to do is reinstall the circlip as so and you're all set. That's how you properly adjust preload.